Bitches with hair perm, now I like it natural, actual, factual, naps and shit, bougie still do ratchet shit. Hey little gang, welcome back to the channel. So if you guys are interested in seeing how I go from dry to hydrated, okay, then make sure you are watching. So the first thing we're going to be doing is hydrating our hair with warm water that just helps open up the hair shaft to take in any products that we are applying today. So I also section my hair to make it easier and we'll be using our unique curl aloe mint shampoo. Love these products. You guys did a review on them. We'll link it up above if you're interested in watching that. And I work from my roots to my ends. So much easier guys. Making sure that you do not scratch. You definitely massage. Get up all the dirt off your hair. Work your way down to the ends. And when you rinse your hair, it will just rinse off the ends if you do not really focus on them in your shampoo process. Trust me, it will be washed and rinsed out whenever you wash your hair. Just focus on your roots and making sure you get that dirt up off your scalp. Alright, next we'll be going in with our deep conditioner. Definitely didn't have this product before, but now I do and I'm in love with it, okay? Um, I will be suctioning my hair after section in it <laughs> um because it's so much easier to make sure i get the conditioner on my hair so i apply from ends to roots the opposite of what i did in shampooing just so i can make sure i get all the conditioner in and i try to um finger detangle just a little while i apply my conditioner and making sure i twist that up so that just everything just stays locked in um to my hair um like i said working from ends to the roots, finger detangling as much as possible before even doing anything else. And um, that just helps that you can fill all the knots and tangles and be able to finger it out without popping your hair out. It's pretty much the process. Okay guys, so when I'm done with that, I just go ahead and put this good Walmart bag on my head for about 20 to 30 minutes. Apply heat if you are feeling like you need extra penetration, but I did not apply heat, but um, I think this was good enough for me. <laughs> so whenever I wash my hair out, I still work in sections, guys. It just makes my wash day so much easier. You can definitely try it if you have not, but it's way easier, y'all. So I just go ahead and rinse everything out, finger detangle, and I go in with my comb later on and just comb my hair from my ends to my roots. And I make sure I do it under the water because with the water running down, it just helps to detangle my hair a little easier. And you will see the difference when you do it outside the shower and in the shower. Like you'll see the difference when you detangle in the water because it just runs everything down. So much easier guys so much easier and detangling your hair helps that your style will come out good y'all so make sure you don't have no knots in your hair because i'm telling you your twist out is not gonna come out good y'all you have a hot mess all right <laughs> Anyway, I just make sure I keep sectioning my hair um, while I'm doing it because that's why I'm twisting this up. Even though it's washed, I'm not leaving it out. I'm twisting it up so nothing gets rematted, nothing gets tangled up again, and I can move into the next section easily. Okay, now I'm done. I'm just going to untwist it and apply my leave-in. Now, this is the first time I'm actually applying my leave-in in the shower, and I must say I really do love it because look how the leave-in, which is Aunt Jackie's sis, <laughs> penetrates my hair, honey. Look how that goes in ever so smoothly, guys, and my curls is popping. Like, when I put it on out the shower, it does work, but this works better in the shower, and y'all, I'm feeling it i will be doing this from now on applying my products in the shower maybe the heat with my follicles being open it helps apply and keep the moisture in guys i am definitely feeling it look at that like look at that hydration and y'all this is only leave-in i have not applied any cream and oil so imagine when i did all doing all of that in the shower like it would probably be bomb.com so I do recommend applying your leave-in in the shower. Heat it, okay? So I'm just gonna go ahead and put this on my hair to suck out some of the water. And whenever I am 
done y'all this will be my finished results with just leave in very hydrated very moisturized you can apply your cream and your oil after the fact if you would like to and let me know if you guys have ever put in leave in in the shower applied your leave in in the shower or your products in the shower after you shampoo because i would love to know y'all and until next time kisses from me to you guys bye